I uh, then uh, binged uh, all of Invincible. Oh yeah, Just did that in one sitting, um, and that that's interesting because I first uh, heard about Invincible back when I was in college, and a friend of mine who was super into comics was like, "Here, dude, you gotta read these. You know, uh, you gotta check this this series out." And like. I was like, yeah, yeah, um, but I didn't get around to it, and it was like, I remember, based on the way he talked about it and who he was, that I kind of was like, oh, I already kind of have an idea for what this is going to be. Um, mm -hmm. uh, have you seen any of it or anything about it? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a bunch of clips fly by, by me on the timeline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems so, good. For some reason, I have no interest in it. Mm. It's kind of weird to me, but it, okay. It I feel as if it's like, I feel as if it's like it's it 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 was pretty it's pretty good. Uh, you know, it's a I, I look forward to seeing uh, the 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 next seasons as they come. Um, and yes, memes have been fucking omnipresent, and just like boy, that thing like it. I don't know, like when. When the meme of the moment comes and, and, and hits, there's stuff that hits like the, the you know, the WandaVision wink, you know, was in for a minute there. Um, mm -hmm. But this is, this is like the new Hail Hydra. It's the format. Yeah. Yeah. It's a format. Exactly. So it just, yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, the, the, it's interesting because it's another story that like, um, comes out and is and is is good but the timing of it is clearly only allowed it's only allowed to exist now in a post mcu world you know mm. it's another story that never would have had the light of day shone on it until shown on it rather until um superheroes became the thing that they are now where they're like okay I we'll invest money in that I think probably the funniest thing that I've personally seen about Invincible is a is a hard drive article that I think was published earlier today, which was uh, Jeff Bezos finds nothing suspicious about funding two TV shows about what if super what if Lex Luthor's villain was a jerk. <laughs> hmm. Um. So yeah, the boys as well is it's I said the exact same thing about that too, where it's like, oh yeah, here was a story that existed twenty years ago, fifteen years ago, but. Yeah. Just now that it's uh, now that you know the superheroes are, are are a humongous deal, you can actually get these like what if stories told. Um, and I don't know, like some people say it wouldn't have worked before. I I disagree, but I do see how there would have been a smaller audience that would have cared. You know, mm. like this has brought in a larger audience. That but 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 I think that like. Um, a bunch of like the impact that like both of these shows goes for, um, in 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 a way is like it's better. It, it I th I feel like it has more impact closer to when it was released, when it was written, than it does further out in time. You know, um, mm -hmm. comic movies are starting to explore the like kind of strange takes off of the um the the default you know like we're starting to get a little bit more de deviant storylines with things but like uh i feel like those stories were you know they had their moment in comics well after an established bunch of hero stories came that did a bunch of things with each of these characters and showed you what if superman red sun you know what if um yeah. all, all this all this wild wild shit um, and like the the yeah the further out you kind of take it, I kind of feel like it, it it does like lessen the impact somewhat. But um, as their own self-contained worlds, these are still interesting things, and you know you can check them out and enjoy them for what they are. Uh, but but I do think I do think that like it would have been it would have been nice if it could have been done earlier. You know how old is it? Uh, again, I I don't know when Invis Invincible was made, but I know that I was in college. When I was being recommended to read it, so uh, two thousand five, like it, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, it, uh, it's proper ancient. I, I was going to say minimum. 
I was going to say minimum 15 years because I was yeah. I was in college in, in 2004, 2005. So. Same time as that Hookman demo. Hmm. Who'd have thunk it? Um, yeah. So, you know, worth it. And, uh, you know, it's it's also one of those things that it's like, okay, like, not, not, uh, the animation is doing what it's doing and it's, and it's pretty, and it's pretty good. Like, it's not, like, uh, suffering from any, like, low budget, as, you know, things. Like, it's not suffering from, uh, what I've seen of, what is it? The animated version of, uh, a Way of the House Husband. Where they've right. effectively oh, taken man. panels and started sliding layers that around. Shit <laughs> sucks. If you if you pitch it as a cinematic graphic novel, you can probably get away with that. You can probably well, in, be fine. Every in every region other than English speaking regions, it's being portrayed as a motion comic. Yeah. Yeah. But in English it's being called an animated series. Yeah. Don't don't like, do that. Don't get the fuck out of here. Shut up call it a motion comic set the expectations you're and then you're fine you know in fact have the camera move from panel to panel just to emphasize how much it's not supposed to be animated because yikes when things stop moving for like 10 seconds and your brain goes what what is happening that that you, you, yeah that's it's you can't call it an anime and have to have anyone fucking fool be fooled by that anyway um yeah, this is not that. This was this is this is working well. Uh, good voice cast as well. Um, yeah, it's it's an easy binge. It's an easy binge. I think I think eight episodes in the first season, forty four minutes each. Oh, they're long. I didn't I didn't know that. Mm hmm. Huh. So is it uh, done? Like, are they no, adapting a there's... completely finished thing? Uh oh oh the story probably probably yeah. yeah I mean it's that old. But there's definitely more seasons, and, and I know the story continues, because I've seen characters that... I know characters that are in from this comic that have not arrived in the story yet. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, I, I just, like... Invincible hit me with, like, the weirdest first impression possible. Which was... Um, me browsing the subreddit and seeing a out of context panel of uh, Paige and I in the comic mm -hmm. and being like why is that just literally my fiance and like a tiny cartoon version of me Wh what is that that's so weird yeah there's there's redheads and bald beard dudes out there. That's you're gonna have that. No, there aren't. <laughs> um, that's a lie. 